Congratulations last week on the win. Tell me your thoughts about last week's game. Yeah, probably could have been better. We did a lot of good stuff, but it was a lot of stuff we were working on as far as on both sides of the ball, making sure that we execute everything. Now, according to your stats, you're definitely leading as in for, you know, you're the team captain, leading in swags, Mr. Lanier. Tell me your thoughts about that and your overall career, because this is actually your fourth Magic City Classic, correct? Oh, yeah. All right, tell me your thoughts about that. Well, you know, it's a big game. It's always high go, but at the end of the day, it's still another game, and at the end of the week, we just want to be on the most. So it's a lot of expectation out of everybody. We make sure everybody's on the same page. But it's a game to come and see. How do you leave your team by example as a team captain for Alabama a and University? Mostly by effort, making sure I'm always on my P's and Q's, making sure everything is dotted and crossed at the end of the day, making sure I do everything and make sure I make the layers that I can. Okay. You actually one of the seniors that actually had to go through a coaching shift change from um, from several other different coaches. Tell me your opinion about Coach James Spady and his coaching style. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's a more stern, more disciplined coaching style, making sure that you do what you're supposed to do, you're one level, and making sure that at the end of the day your team is in the best position for the win. All right, you have a lot of folks that are definitely coming from Savannah, Georgia. They definitely come to the Magic City Classic. Um, next week, it is a big ordeal when you guys play against Alabama State University. How do you feel about that? I mean, it's the big hoopla and hoppla. Um, any words to say to the fans and alumni that definitely come to see you guys play? We're going to do our best to make sure we make the uh, uh, Alabama a and fans and alumni happy, make them proud of us. At the end of the day, you're always going to have Bulldog pride and just instead of some more people because what I'll probably just be ready to have. All right. Last words of wisdom. A young kid is definitely contemplating and maybe following your footsteps as definitely trying to follow and say, you know what, I want to be like Anthony Lanier, number 90. He's doing great things in sacks and everything else like that. What would you tell that individual right now definitely watching this interview? Be better than me and keep working hard. Always set the bar high as possible. The sky is not the limit. It goes even further than that. So be yourself, always be humble, and do everything that you can.